One of the principal unifying parts of this song is the rhythm. And it goes kind of like this. That is the drum chant. It's a six beat phrase. It unifies the entire composition that we just played. Normally, in school, you get presented a lot of straight-ahead swing, bebop kind of stuff. We're here to show you that there's an entire world outside of that waiting for you, outside these doors. I really just kind of want to engage you guys and not bore you. We're going to present some different concepts in music than is normally presented to you in, you know, the standard college curriculum, which is hopefully why this will be effective. That was good. I enjoyed listening to that. Um, how'd it feel soloing over that? Scary. Yeah, well, yeah. <laughs> a little scary. New. New. Yeah. Good. <laughs> Would you guys like to maybe hear what you guys say about this or something like that? <laughs> Joe, would you like to say something? Do you have anything to say? <laughs> Yes. Yeah, so the most important thing is what you're doing rhythm rhythmically, but being cognizant of where one is at and being cognizant of what your playing is doing with, within the clave of, the, of this particular event. When improvising on a structure like this, these are things to keep in mind because as a soloist, you just have like this one note and this kind of funny rhythm going, and we need to focus on how we can relate our improvisation to the greater structure. Because, you know, you can just go and do your thing, and that sounds really good too, that's an approach, but you have a lot of options. And the structure of the melody is a guiding post to relate how you improvise to the piece as a whole. I'm a band leader, and I still don't know. I'm out of college. You can learn when you're done. You know, <laughs>